Hi there everybody, uh, in this video about enzymes I'm going to explain how we calculate the Michaelis menten constant or Km and what it tells us. So if we have a particular enzyme and we look at the rate of reaction um, or V, uh, the velocity of the reaction at different substrate concentrations, uh, we can then calculate the Michaelis menten constant. If we have a substrate concentration of zero then of course there's going to be no reaction okay you can't um, have a reaction if there's no substrate if we then increase the substrate concentration we will see an increase in the rate of reaction and to begin with this increase is going to be steep so this is our initial uh, the initial rate of reaction when we go from having no substrate to some substrate um, is always going to be very steep after that point if you keep increasing the substrate concentration, the rate of reaction will increase, usually slightly less steeply, um, until some point where the rate stays the same, even if you increase the substrate concentration. Now this maximum rate of reaction here is known as Vmax, okay, so maximum velocity, maximum rate. And Vmax is going to be different for different enzymes, um, it can also be different depending on things like temperature. So for any one enzyme, uh, any one particular temperature uh, with its substrate, if you were to then look at half of the rate of reaction, which we call half of Vmax, if you then come down and see the substrate concentration at which you would get half of Vmax, that substrate concentration is known as Km or the Michaelis Menten constant. So Km is a substrate concentration and it's a substrate concentration which will give you half of the maximum rate of reaction for that particular enzyme. Okay so that's how we calculate Km uh, but what does that then tell us? So here is our first enzyme, okay, so we call this enzyme A, and as we've just seen uh, from this graph we can calculate Vmax, uh, half Vmax, which will then tell us the Km for this particular enzyme. If we then compare that with a different enzyme, uh, we can see why it's important. So for this particular enzyme, so enzyme A, at half Vmax, that means that it's going at half its maximum rate, which means that at any one point, half of the um, enzyme active sites will be occupied. Okay, so that's what you can see here. So at this particular substrate concentration, so I've represented that by having six substrate molecules. With six substrate molecules, half of our active sites are occupied at any one time, and therefore we've got half Vmax. So comparing that to another enzyme, so if we compare it to enzyme B, Enzyme B, as you can see, um, follows a similar shape um, in that it, you know, we have it increases, we've got a steep initial rate of reaction, which then slows down. And you can see that Vmax is the same for enzyme B. So it has the same maximum rate of reaction. Now, that won't be the same for all enzymes. Um, lots of enzymes they have different rates, but in this example, they've both got the same Vmax. That means, of course, that they've got the same half of Vmax. But if you have a look at this graph, if we come from half Vmax and we move across to uh, where it intersects with the enzyme B plots, and then we move down to find Km, we can see that although Vmax is the same, Km is different. Okay, so remember Km is the substrate concentration. So for enzyme B, we find Km by taking Vmax, sorry, half Vmax, coming to where it intersects, and then we come down to find the substrate concentration. What that means, if we were to have the same enzyme concentration uh, for enzyme B, and, and that's something that's important, so if we're going to be comparing these two enzymes, we have to have the same concentration of both. At uh, half Vmax, we have got a lower substrate concentration for enzyme B compared to the enzyme, uh, so, sorry, compared to the substrate concentration we need for enzyme A to also reach half Vmax. So enzyme A has got half of the active sites occupied at any one time, and we have six substrate molecules. 
Enzyme B has got half of the active sites occupied, but only four substrate molecules are needed. Obviously, I'm just giving the number of molecules there as a way to represent what's going on. It represents the concentration of the substrate. So what does this tell us? It tells us that enzyme A has a lower affinity for its substrate. That means the substrate does not bind as easily to enzyme A, which means you need more of the substrate to get to half Vmax. Enzyme B, the Km is lower, which means it has a higher affinity for its substrate. You need less substrate for enzyme B to be able to reach half Vmax because the enzyme binds more readily to its substrate than it does in enzyme A. The other thing we can tell from this graph, this here is the point where Vmax is reached for enzyme B and this is the point where Vmax is reached for enzyme A. There's a higher substrate concentration in enzyme A to reach Vmax. So Km is telling us all about the affinity of the enzyme for its substrate which helps us to understand how much substrate you would need, so how concentrated do you need your substrate to be in order to reach Vmax. We can look at these ideas in uh, then another video uh, to think about um, how this works with different enzymes um, and how um, the, uh, sorry, the effect of inhibitors on the Vmax and the Km of a particular enzyme. But that's it for now. Thank you.